Looking for an easy way to get in more veggies or use up those leftovers in the refrigerator? Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel where every week we get together in the kitchen and we create delicious recipes together to keep you inspired and motivated to eat healthy all year long. Today we're going to be making easy, low-carb breakfast egg muffins. Let's begin by greasing our muffin tin with either some olive oil, avocado oil, or a quality spray of either. Just going to brush it on. You could also use your fingers or a paper towel. Just want to make sure that our egg and veggies don't stick. For this recipe, you will want to use three to four cups of your favorite veggies. So this is a really great time to use up those leftovers. I'm going to start with two cups of chopped up spinach. And what you want to do is just divide it up evenly into each of the cups. So if you have some picky eaters like I do, you might want to make um, them a little bit different just depending on who's eating them and what they like, but you can't go wrong here. So whatever veggies you have on hand should work really great. Next I have a little bit over one cup of chopped up broccoli. Okay, so one thing you want to keep in mind is the smaller you chop up your veggies, the softer they're going to cook up, and then vice versa. So the larger they are, the more crisp they will be. You always want to remember that recipes are just suggestions and guidelines for you to then really make them your own, really make them work for you. That's why I love doing so much home cooking because I can really tailor them to what I like, what I know my kids like, and I can really know what's going into the recipes by using quality organic ingredients. It makes such a difference. Next I'm going to add one diced up mushroom. So I'm only using one mushroom here because I'm only going to put it in half of my cups because some of my kids don't like mushrooms. So if you wanted to put it in all of the cups, you probably would want more like two mushrooms. Last, I'm going to add one diced jalapeno that's been seeded. The seeds are where you find the heat. So taking the seeds out won't make these quite as hot. Some other veggies that you might like to add are you could use some onions, some garlic, um, some cauliflower would work, some bell peppers, really, you could get so creative with this recipe. Just use what you have on hand, use the ones that you like, and it will work out, I promise. You can't mess up this recipe. Set your muffin tin aside, and then to a large mixing bowl, we're going to add in one dozen of free-range organic eggs. Local is even better or your egg substitute preference. Next, we're going to add in one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, and one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper just for a little bit of heat. You're also to welcome to add in one quarter cup of your favorite unsweetened nut milk. I personally don't like milk in my eggs, but it's completely up to you. So if you do like them, be sure to add it in now. Whisk together your eggs really well, and then pour your egg mixture over your veggies, dividing it up evenly into each of the muffin cups. The next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one half of a cup of grass-fed organic shredded Parmesan cheese. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for 20 to 25 minutes, or until desired doneness is reached. Okay, let's give these egg muffins a try. I only cooked mine for 20 minutes and they were perfect. And you'll notice they're done when they start to puff up and then just take your finger and touch the center of them, making sure that the egg is cooked all the way through. Okay, so um, one idea of serving this up is with some sliced avocado and maybe squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on top or maybe some salsa or hot sauce. Let's see.
That is absolutely delicious. So good. And you can get so creative with this, with all the different vegetables that you want to use. I could have definitely upped that cayenne pepper just to make it a little bit more spicy, but that's just for me. I love it with the avocado, so good. Or maybe even make it into guacamole, salsa, all of those good condiments would be delicious with this. I also love that you can put it in a, um, store it in the refrigerator in a container, take them out, heat them up, and it's such a great little snack packed with protein and veggies and it's low carb, definitely give this one a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, what you eat not only affects the way that you feel, but also the way that you interact with those that you love. So this week, make healthy choices and be sure to join me next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.